Hello. All right, we're going. Guess what this is for? Oh, wait, this isn't going yet. Now is it going? Now it's going. Guess what this is for? To piss off your wife. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't fight about this beforehand, I promise. I'm with sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. So, just a quick show of hands. I hope you guys are having a great day. <laughs> Would it have been better as a whole sheet of paper? or is... <laughs> We're doing an overrated, underrated segment. So, we're going to talk about diet and exercise topics and that people contributed, that you contributed, and that you can still contribute to either for um, a future video or if we have time, we'll see how many we get to today. But the point is, so we'll, there will be a topic, and Megan and I are going to give our quick, just gut reaction, although I, I've seen the list, so I have had a little bit more time to think about it. <laughs> so her gut reaction and my very well thought out and articulated reaction <laughs> to, to these topics. No, I'm just kidding. I haven't put a whole lot of thought into it. When can I tap out? I mean... Of the marriage. Oh, okay. That's what I thought. <laughs> okay. Um, so we have these well thought out arrows will help. Yes. So whether we think they're overrated, which is up or underrated, which is down. But the whole point of this is that the other person doesn't know what we're going to vote for. So I'm curious to see how many we agree on, how many we disagree on and what our reasons are for those yeah. opinions. And the whole reason behind this is because I am a nutrition coach and he is a personal trainer and together we help people get unstuck from feeling like they can't live a better quality life, lose weight, and just improve the way they move and their diet in a way that's not obsessive. And so it comes from that mindset. For sure. Especially for people who are, like in our circumstances, are you're... I don't want to say old because we're definitely not old, but old enough to where you're starting to feel like, okay, my body's not working the same as it used to. I've got kids. I've got other responsibilities. I still want to do this, but how do I do it? Because the results aren't coming as quickly. Is there something wrong with me? Why are you yelling? I just felt like yelling. Then. Gosh. So okay. it would be fun if this were on like something where we could spin it. <laughs> Next time, babe. Okay, so let's go into it. Okay. So just, uh, I mean, we'll just do this so that everybody, in case you don't have any idea what this is, I think that, I think this was, Hey Matt. <laughs> I think this was something that got started by Gary V like a long time ago and okay. used to be popular and we're way behind on <laughs> doing it. Everything. I just thought it'd be fun to do. Okay. So anyway, that's, this is how this works. This so would I, be like doing the ice bucket challenge in five years. So I'm going to say the word, the topic. And you're going to, you've got to like, you can think about it for a second, but then, or, or we can, should we count it so that we do it at the exact same time? Let's do that. As you know as, really bad with the timing, so why don't you it can, just As long say as it's close, it's fine. Okay. So get ready. The first one is, is it overrated or underrated? First one is protein shakes. One. <laughs> what were the instructions? <laughs> So, okay, I was going to do that, too. Okay. I was going to count it off. One, two, three, go. Protein shakes are overrated. Overrated, I agree. Totally. You want to give, give your reasons why? Mm -hmm. uh, they don't, you don't have to drink them to be healthy or get enough protein in. Um, it's not a make or break for any type of goal. Unless maybe, like, I can only think of, like, one type of situation, but... Yeah, so some people, they just don't sit well with them. They don't feel good on them. And some people love them and rely on them. And But it's not like you need to absolutely have them in order to build muscle, lose weight, or any other goal. Yeah, it's not like they're bad. They mm -hmm. just are, I feel like a lot of people kind of feel like, oh, I've got to have a protein shake after a workout or whatever. And it's, there. there's nothing about them where anybody should ever have to have one. Yeah, totally. So... Overrated. All right, next one. You ready? Yeah. This time I'm going to count it. I'm not going to listen. Okay. Melatonin. Three, two, one, go. Ooh. Overrated. Did you think I was going to do underrated? I don't know. I didn't really think about that one. It's hard for, it would be hard for me. I think this is the only supplement on the list, but it would hard, be hard for me to give any supplement an underrated 
thing because I yeah. feel like most supplements yeah. are overrated. Yeah. But melatonin specifically is one where I have used it a lot because I used to have a ton of sleep problems. It was super, super, super hard for me to fall asleep at any half decent hour. So I would lie in bed sometimes for hours until whatever, two in the morning and just couldn't sleep. And so I'd use melatonin to help me sleep. And what I came to find out eventually is that uh, what I really needed was a better diet and exercise routine and nighttime routine. Like there were a bunch of different elements that I was overlooking that contributed to why I was unable to fall asleep. And uh, once I took care of that, then I, I have less problems. Yeah. I won't say that I'm like cured because <laughs> I still lie in bed way longer than she does to fall asleep. She's one of those instant fall asleeper people. And he hates me for it. So annoying. Because <laughs> I can be exhausted and I'll go get in bed and she'll come to bed half an hour later and I'm still lying there and she'll be like, I'm not really tired and then she's out. <laughs> yeah, I, I say it's overrated because a lot of the reasons you said, um, I think, just taking melatonin doesn't look at the big picture of all the different things you can improve in your life to sleep better. I think it's just, it's an aid and sometimes it can be helpful in the interim. And sometimes it's just like a band aid that's not really looking at the, the deep issue. I found it really helpful when I like change time zones. Like mm -hmm. if I have to get used to a totally new schedule, whether it's time zones or just whatever, um, then I've used it because it can help me make that adjustment sooner. But outside of that, yeah, I feel like it's overrated because people just use it for sleep when really what they should be looking at is diet, their sleep patterns, whether they're active enough during the day, all of those things. Mm -hmm, totally. So not, again, not a bad thing, just overrated. Yeah. All right, next one, you ready? <clears throat> Home gyms. One, two, three, go. Underrated. Underrated, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Uh, I know some people really like to go to the gym, like that can be more motivating to go to the gym. So I feel like there's nothing wrong with that. But I feel like even if you go to the gym, you should still have some option for how to exercise at home when you're not able to make it to the gym, when you don't have time having that option, even if it's a very small setup, like just get yourself a set of dumbbells ideally a bench too like dumbbells on a bench and you can do anything with that and be totally good forever so that even if you can't make it to the gym you've still got something that you can do at home yeah that's why i think they're underrated is because regardless of what you prefer it's still a good idea to have another option yeah well i mean one of the biggest things we hear is i don't have time to work out and well cutting out the drive time to the gym <laughs> miraculously can find some more time to work out um, <laughs> so unless you've got a gym like next door that you can just yeah, walk to, which I don't think most people do that are open 24 seven. Yeah. yeah. So it just makes it more accessible. Um, but it is harder to get motivated when you're not used to getting to the gym. Yeah. So. You definitely need l way less equipment than what most people think too. Like I said, oh, dumbbells yeah. on a bench. You're yeah. good to go. All right. Next one. Okay. <clears throat> Keto in three, two, one. Overrated. Over, I would put this for any diet. I don't know if you have next on the list, but overrated. Yeah, I think this is the only diet specific, like named of diet. Cool. Okay. Why? Why is keto overrated? There's so many reasons. <laughs> Give a it's, couple quick ones. Let's not okay. spend a lot of time on um, it. It just, it focuses on cutting out certain foods and it doesn't, in some situations it's not easy to keep up with uh in real life too when there's carbs everywhere and keto is anti-carb uh, super low carb sorry <laughs> <laughs> super super low carb. so that might as well be anti -carb. yeah it, it, so it's just hard to maintain and, and i just don't think it's good long term even even some of the studies are showing like it's not good for the heart right I don't know. I yeah. haven't seen that, but so, it could be. Yeah, so, you I, know, that just increase a, a dietary fat is, can be not the healthiest choice. My take on it is even if it is, even if you can get good results from it, like that's not doing anything better for you than anything else. That it's not going to give you better results than any other thing. There's nothing special about it. So for all the reasons you said of it being super difficult and not likely to you're not likely to stick with it. It's like, well, then do something else because you're not going to get better results from it. So why do something that is, makes your life miserable? Yeah. 
sometimes those hard and fast rules are easier to follow than to just the boring consistency of eating healthy. They're easier to follow for a couple weeks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, next one. Okay, uh, cardio. You ready? In three. For what? Just cardio in general. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know. It's a really big one. Really big, but three, two, one, go. Oh, we, it's the first one we had different answers on. We can't stand that one. <laughs> I think it's overrated um, because that's what people think exercise is. It's, it's just, just cardio. cardio. That's why I say overrated. Yeah. I say underrated because I agree with you that most people kind of just go and do a bunch of cardio. Like that seems to be the go-to. Just I'll just go, I need to exercise, so I'll go for a run. I'll go whatever, hop on the stationary bike. Or, uh, but the reason why I think it's underrated is because for your health, cardio is super important. And most people don't put any thought into how they're doing it. They just go out and do it. I think if it were actually truly properly rated, people would be doing it totally differently from than from how they really do it. Yeah. Which to me says, well, you just don't care enough to actually go out and figure out or 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 are unwilling to invest in the help to get someone to show you how to do it correctly. So that's why I say it's underrated. But I do agree with you that it tends to be overused in for the wrong reasons. Yeah. So. Okay. What's the next one? Let's go on. Three, two, one. Oh, I gotta say it first. That's how this works. Okay. Salads. Any any type of salads, I guess. Okay. Uh, Three, two, one, go. Underrated. Yeah, salads are underrated. Even though I don't like. I don't actually like them that much. We don't have either. salads very often. Mm -hmm. So why are we both saying it's underrated? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think people are. It's an easy way to get vegetables because. Nowadays, I mean, it's easier to find a bagged salad than it is to actually make a salad. Yeah. And they're just not utilized very much. If you're just trying to eat more vegetables, that's one super easy way to start incorporating more food. That's I almost said the opposite because... There's a lot of unhealthy salads. Well, there's well, unhealthy salads. And if you're just having a salad that's not nutritionally balanced, it's going to leave you hungry. And then it just kind of sucks. So... It's, it's very dynamic, how I feel about that. Yeah. Okay, next one. <clears throat> okay. Step counts. Three, two, one, go. Ooh. Yeah, underrated. Yeah, underrated. Because it's just so easy. Like, I don't even, I didn't used to really keep track of my step count, and I still kind of don't because I just look at my phone, which isn't super accurate. I don't have it on me all the time. But it's just such an easy thing to reference to know whether you're moving enough during the day and yeah. and it literally is it's on your phone yeah. which you have with you most of the day so it's going to give you a number that's close yeah. it's data that can be used to make a de decision to work towards your goals super super easy yeah. all right organic food one two three go <laughs> organic food is overrated <laughs> um i think I think when it comes down to it, just eating more whole foods, whether they're organic or not, is beneficial to most people. Um, you know, if you have the budget and the means and the resources to eat more organic produce, that's great. But if, I mean, I think I think it's better a better choice, but if it comes down to, oh, I can't afford the organic vegetables, so I'm just going to get the organic cookies, I, you might as well just be eating, you know, name brand Oreos because that's just as equally nutritional choice you're making there a lot of stuff that's labeled organic isn't any different from the non-organic nutritionally yeah. speaking yeah. right so okay, okay. Uh, i got a couple more we try to do here marriage oh geez no i'm kidding <laughs> only because only because you're pressing my buttons i gotta work on origami <laughs> <laughs> okay um hit workout so before we even give our opinion, let me just clarify what that is for anyone who might not I mean, know. Just okay. so I high know hit H I I T high intensity interval training workout. So it's when you're doing intervals where you're doing like really, really super high intense, like for 10 seconds or 30 seconds or even a minute. 
and then you take a break for a little while and then you do it another super intense interval and then you take a break for a little while. There's lots of different ways to do it, but that style of workout, is it overrated or underrated? One, two, three, go. Overrated. And it's, again, it's not- well, I guess pessimist? <laughs> I don't think so. Um, it's not that it's bad. It's just another thing that's overused and isn't, it can be a really good thing to add in like at the end of a strength-based workout where you want to get some extra cardio in. But if that's all you're doing, then you're not, I guess that kind of goes back to the cardio thing. It's not the best way to improve your cardio. And it's overall, I guess it also used to be, and probably still is in a lot of people's minds, it used to be kind of marketed as like, you can get just as much done in a five minute hit workout as what you can in an hour long workout. And that's just not truth. That there's, it's not true at all. I won't even go into it. But so for that reason, it's overrated in my mind because people think they're gonna get this huge benefit out of it. And you'll get a little bit, but there's other stuff you should be doing and prioritizing. It's taxing too. It's taxing. For sure. If you do it a lot, it will wear you out and yeah. will end up being unhealthy for you. Most people should probably not do it more. Actually, most people should not do it at all because if you don't have, if you aren't physically conditioned enough and in good enough shape to do it, then that's not where you should even be starting. But even beyond that, most people should really only do it like two or three times a week at the most for the best results. Okay. And the last one. Oh, bacon. Three. Bacon overrated or underrated? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> How dare you? I know. Of all things to disagree on. Why is big? Why do you think bacon's overrated? I, I just think it's I like one slice is good, you know, or it's great to like flavor some stuff with bacon. This was gonna be just universal. I didn't think there would be a person who would say bacon's. I like it. I like it. I'm not saying I don't like bacon. I just think it's overrated. I mean, it's not that amazing. I will say it's not a good source of protein. Yeah. Which some people think it is. Definitely. It's, I, I think it's a great way to flavor things and add some like depth and fat to foods, but I think like just oh my gosh, it has bacon. It's so good. It is I just think stupid. bacon is delicious and based off of taste alone that it's underrated, even if you love it. It's good and you should eat it because okay. I like it. We're gonna go call our marriage counselor and <laughs> talk this one over. <laughs> All right, so that's it. So if you have any other topics that you want to know, just you know, quick like, okay, is this something that's I should be doing or is it overrated or underrated? And you want to do see another one of these, then leave a comment on what you would like us to discuss for the next overrated underrated segment. Yeah. If, or you can, if we do it, I don't know if we will. You can message us. I'll put the link to message us um, in the comments. So you can just shoot us, you know, what do you think about this? Overrated, underrated, and we'll do it in the next one. Cool. Sounds fun. All right. Also, arrows. Are the arrows overrated or underrated? Ending video. <laughs>